All right, now I'd like to give you another example of a showmanship presentation with a different type of bird. Uh, Ashley Bloom, a forager here in Nebraska, will give her pro presentation. Ashley was a champion poultry showmanship award winner at the Nebraska State Fair, as well as winning many county fair showmanship awards. Hi, my name is Ashley Bloom, and today I'll be showing a Polish. The Polish was imported from Eastern Europe, being called pole and fowls once landing in England. It is a long race of domesticated poultry and has been mentioned as a purebred since the 16th century, but was admitted in the standard in 1938. There are several different varieties of Polish. There is white crested black, white crested blue, buff laced, golden laced, silver laced, white, and black crested white. The weight limits for a Polish are pullet 24 ounces, cockerel 26 ounces, hen 26 ounces, and cock 28 ounces. And now I'll begin my presentation. Starting with the head, the beak is to be medium length, slightly curved, being a blackish blue color, the nostrils being large and wide. The crest should be V-shaped, the smaller the better that retreats into the crest. The absence of the comb is preferred, but if it is present, it should be a bright red color. The eyes are to be reddish bay, being large and bold. The wattles being uniform, thin, well-rounded on the lower edges. The earlobes are to be white, small, and smooth. The crest is to be white, but back black feathers are permitted at the base, but not desired. It is to be large, profuse, and compact. The neck is to be medium length. The back should be broadest at the shoulders, tapering to the tail with a concave sweep, being black coloration and black undercolor, and there's no signs of lice or mites. The wings are to be well folded with pure black coloration. If there's two more feathers tipped with white or more than one half part of white on any part of plumage, it'd be a disqualification. She has all of her primary and secondary feathers. She has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten primary feathers, axle feather, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten secondary feathers. On the other wing, she has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten primary feathers, axle feather, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten secondary feathers. There's no disqualifications like slipped wing, slipped wing, or twisted feather. The tail is to be large and broad, being carried 40 degrees above the horizon. There's no signs of squirrel tail, rye tail, or split tail, which would be a disqualification. As you can tell, her tail feathers are not in good condition today. The vent is to be clean and clear, and there's no signs of fecal matter. The breast is to be large, round, and prominent. And the keel bone is straight. The feet are to be well set apart. And the shanks are to be a slate blue color. There's four toes on each foot, and there's no signs of duck foot or stubs, which would be a disqualification. And now I will pose my bird. That's the end of my presentation. Do you have any questions?